Hi, in this tutorial we're going to use Widget Kit 2 from Utheme to create a grid layout which is a sort of like a gallery which is displayed in column forms. The layout is uh, similar to what you see here. We can do a few things to it such as change the image size and uh, change the borders. Um, there's a few options that we will tinker with but this is basically what you will get in the end. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is log into your Joomla website and go to the back end of your website. So you uh, should be seeing a page similar to this. It might be a bit different because I've customized my back end. Uh, in our example, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use JCE br uh, file browser. If you don't have that installed, um, go to um, JCE uh, Joomla content extension or editor, sorry, and uh, download the um, JCE editor and you should get this um, JCE file browser by default so you click on that um, here are a few uh, folders that have already been uploaded in our example we're going to um, upload folders uh, sorry we're going to uh, use the folder in the sample data to um, display the images so in this case I'm going to use the images that are already in the animals um, demo folder so as you can see there's a few uh, different widths and a few different images um, a koala <clears throat> wobbegong and all sorts of images in different sizes and um, yeah, different resolution if you don't know how to um, upload your images um, just click on this um, upload link and it will show you the upload um, option where you can browse your uh, desktop for images and essentially click upload or you can drag and drop files so um, you know create the folder or whatever you want to um, upload the images to by clicking on the uh, plus folder button and then upload your images there so I won't go into uh, detail on how on how to do that except um, we're going to use the animals um, default folder which is um, essentially um, a demo folder in Joomla so what we need to do is uh, make sure that we know the um, we know where the uh, sample data is uh, located. In this case, it's a root sample data parks and animals. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to write down the file name, uh, the file path for that folder. So in our example, it's going to be located in images. It's in the uh, sample data folder parks forward slash animals okay so that's our image folder and I'm going to close that now so once you have the images uploaded into your folder and you've recorded the path of the folder what you want to do now is go into uh, widget kit by clicking on components hover down and click on widget kits Okay, this is what our widget kit um, panel looks like. Um, yours might look a bit different. Uh, don't worry about that. We're going to now create the um, image layout from the folder. So to do that, we click on new and um, select the content type. In this case, we're going to select folder because we want to pull out images from a folder. Then we click on grid, click on create. Okay, this is the uh, folder path that I was telling you about. So I've saved my folder path. So I'll copy that. Paste it in. And that's essentially how we get the images to uh, upload through the folder path. Now once you have that entered, what we need to do next is uh, click on settings. This is our settings tab. As you can see, we've got um, uh, different tabs. I'm going to click on the first one, layout, and um, I'll enter the uh, title for this um, gallery. So we'll call it um, test layout. And then what I'm going to do is um, change the behavior from match height to dynamic grid. And this is <clears throat> the gutter, which is essentially the <clears throat> the horizontal and the vertical 
um, gap between uh, the images so uh, 20 is quite a big number so I generally like to um, either make it um, 5 pixels or if I don't want any spacing between my images I could even put that to uh, 0 pixels but I'm just going to leave that at uh, 5 pixels um, so that's uh, horizontally uh, vertically you can also do the same uh, 5 pixels the other thing that we need to do is also change the uh, columns so at the moment it's um, one column for a phone um, the rest is inherited um, and of course on a desktop we're going to have a one column a one image layout so I don't really want um, just for um, one image to be displayed I can have more than one image display in this case I'm going to do three now once that's um, once that's uh, selected I'm going to click on save let's click on close this is our test layout um, gallery that we um, just created I'm going to co copy the widget code item <clears throat> and I'm going to use that to paste into an article so I'll just pick an article at random this is what your JCE editor looks like I'm going to put in a paragraph open P and a close P paragraph and I'm going to paste my widget kit over a demo one that I created before <clears throat> click on that and save it go to your article and <clears throat> this is what my gallery currently looks like again just be careful and make sure that you um, create images of the correct length and size to display on your um, in your gallery okay so let's get on with the rest of our uh, tutorial and we'll make a few more adjustments on the back end so let's click back to the um, widget kit I'll close our article click on components widget kit and we'll go back to our test layout click on settings okay the next tab that we're going to look at is the media tab <clears throat> As you can see, this displays the um, images, and so you can specify um, from this uh, tab the length and width of the image. By default, it's set to auto, which means that whatever size you uploaded, uh, the image will be displayed in that size. I actually want the images to display a bit bigger than um, auto um, I want it to display um, a specific size so I want it to 500 pixels by 500 pixels yours might be a bit different depending on your image size the other thing I wanted to point out was that you can also change the border um, so currently there's nothing um, no changes to the border and I'll show you what that looks like the other thing I was going to show you was um, what you can, what effect you can put on the image. So so far we've got um, none on, as border. I can change that to circle or to rounded, and I'll show you what those look like. Go back to the front and refresh. Um, <clears throat> this is our rounded effect. If we go back and change that to circle and save it refresh it we now have images that are displayed as circles I'm going to change that back into oops uh, no uh, border effect and save that the next thing we want to do is get rid of these um, image names uh, they look pretty ugly so we'll just get rid of those and uh, you can do that by clicking on content and um, unchecking display and saving that so you go back to the front refresh and now your images should not have any more um, file names at the bottom and essentially that's how we pull images and display it in a gallery form
um, <clears throat> that's using the U-theme uh, grid layout. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, look forward to um, catching up with you again. Thanks for watching.